to call you back i'm uh, i'm getting into a meeting some interview ma no ma i never get the important ones this is just some old time dancer uh, someone called nitya i think ha huh. yeah oh really ha huh. i i i don't know ma i've never heard of her Uh, uh, yeah yeah nitya the dancer mom mom i'm really going to have to call you back i uh, yeah bye for now bye 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 hi ma'am thank you for agreeing to see me i'm from the daily press i had called you amma belling vechittu pora thevu patta kupidunga ma I'll try to keep this brief ma'am. Uh perhaps we can start off by you telling me about your journey as a Bharat Natyam dancer. It started when I saw him. So who You saw someone in the rains and he inspired you to dance. I saw someone in the rains and then dance became my language of speaking to him. When I danced, I spoke to him. So Was he also a dancer? Was he a dancer? Perhaps. Perhaps a dancer. A writer. A poet. A divine incarnation. How would that matter? What he did was not important that he was his important <laughs> Oh 
Have you ever loved? Loved someone, even knowing that it was not ever going to lead anyway? I have had relationships. Nothing serious. Still haven't been struck by lightning, you know. <laughs> <laughs> then you will not understand why I danced. For if he was, there was life. Without him, even the breathing ceased. The weight was an offering, the union divine. Is it a failed love story? Hit by Cupid at first sight and then taken for a ride by the man you loved. Is that the story? If love be truth, how could it fail? You know, those kind of love stories are long passé. You find them in some third grade television serials or dusty old books that haven't been opened in over 10 years. In the real world, such love does not exist. I'm sure you are right. You see, the world I was in wasn't real in that sense. Forget about the dance part. There's obviously a bigger story here. What is it? Unrequited love? Thank you. 
secreted love. That is a strange universe. An infinity that you yearn for cannot be more than a moment. What a strange paradox. The one you love can never be yours. And if he does become yours, then he transforms to someone you don't even recognize. The choice was between a self-destructive love to last a life or memories of a moment to last a life. What was difficult about such a choice? And if the love went unanswered, was there a reason to communicate again? To dance again? His presence ceased in my life, but not the love I felt. I speak to that love. Yes, the language was first angry, bitter, desperate, desolate, and then came the acceptance. A life spent in the pursuit of someone that was never yours. That would never be yours to begin with. Was there any point to such an odyssey? You think that was a mistake? <laughs> and you have never made that mistake. Has that made you happier? <laughs> 